The war between Russia and Ukraine has been raging for over two years now. As Putin continues his blitzkrieg, Ukraine has been resisting, with the US-led West powering its fight back. Ukraine has been devastated militarily and economically, with thousands now openly defying Zelensky's bid to enlist more men in the military. Europe too has had its share of troubles due to the raging war. However, one party that seems to be profiting from the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war is the United States of America. In the latest episode of Hindustan Times, in depth we explain how. Since February 2022, the war in Ukraine has dominated the news cycle, highlighting the harsh realities of conflict and the resilience of the Ukrainian people. But beyond the immediate battlefield, the war has had major economic implications worldwide. For the United States, the impact has been multifaceted, touching various sectors from defense and energy to broader economic dynamics. However, unlike other nations, the economic effects on the U.S. have been a boon for the American economy. This has raised one pressing question. How deeply is the United States entwined in the economic currents stirred by this conflict? And to what extent is it benefiting from the war? One of the most direct beneficiaries of the Ukraine war is undoubtedly the U.S. arms industry. As the conflict escalated, so did the demand for military equipment and supplies. This surge in demand has been a boon for U.S. arms manufacturers. In the latest, the U.S. Army awarded Lockheed Martin a multi-year contract worth $4.5 billion for its Air Defense Patriot missile system, the Pentagon said on Friday. The Patriot system is one of an array of sophisticated air defense units supplied by the West to help Ukraine, as it continues its defense against Russia's invasion. In April 2024, the U.S. Senate passed a $95 billion supplemental defense bill. Of this, nearly $60.7 billion was earmarked for Ukraine. The bill promises that 64% of its funds will rejuvenate the U.S. defense industrial base. A promise it seems to have held. As per a report by the Washington Post, 90% of Ukraine aid dollars are not actually sent to Ukraine. Rather, these funds stay in the U.S., where leading defense contractors have invested tens of billions in over 100 new industrial manufacturing facilities, creating thousands of jobs across at least 38 states directly, with vital subcomponents sourced from all 50 states. However, many senators claim that U.S. aid vanishes into a cesspool of unchecked Ukrainian corruption. The Ukraine aid was not only meant for weapons, but also for humanitarian aid and with the money redirected to defense contractors in the U.S. Certain senators have raised a need for accountability and transparency. And one thing, regardless of what you think about Ukraine, I think we can't all agree on is that we have to watch that money like a hawk. We cannot allow it to be stolen. We cannot allow it to be wasted. Now let's take a look at the numbers to understand this better. According to the U.S. Department of State, foreign military sales in 2023 increased by a staggering 16%, reaching an all-time high of $238 billion. Within this, sales arranged through the U.S. government shot up by 56% from 2022, amounting to $80.9 billion. Meanwhile, commercial sales by U.S. companies totaled $157.5 billion, reflecting a 2.5% increase from the previous year. This surge isn't just about the sheer volume of arms being sold. It's also about who's buying them. European countries, anxious about the proximity and unpredictability of the conflict, have been major buyers. Countries like Poland and Germany have significantly ramped up their military spending, much of it directed towards American-made weapons and defense systems. For companies like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and Northrop Grumman, this conflict has translated into increased orders and hefty profits. 
These companies are now working overtime to meet the soaring demands of both the U.S. government and international clients. For instance, Lockheed Martin, maker of the HIMARS, which has been central to Ukraine's counteroffensive, plans to increase its Camden, Arkansas facilities workforce by 20%, and recently announced increased profit projections through the end of the year. Similarly, General Dynamics has committed to building new production facilities in Mesquite, Texas, bringing money and jobs to the region. But the defense industry isn't the only sector experiencing a windfall. The energy market has also been dramatically reshaped by the Ukraine war. With Europe facing a severe energy crunch due to sanctions on Russian oil and gas, the United States has emerged as a critical supplier. In the wake of the war, the U.S. has stepped up its liquefied natural gas exports to Europe. In fact, the U.S. has become the leading LNG supplier to the continent, helping to fill the gap left by reduced Russian supplies. And uh, it's good to come back here because we are not only partners, of the European Union and the United States are good friends. And this could be felt throughout the whole world that we're doing together. Indeed, um, you helped us enormously when we wanted to get rid of the Russian fossil fuel dependency. By um, You helped us enormously by delivering more LNG, helped us through the energy crisis. This shift has not only reinforced America's position in the global energy market, but has also provided a substantial boost to the U.S. energy sector. Companies involved in LNG production and export, like Chenier Energy and ExxonMobil, are seeing significant gains. The increased demand from Europe has led to higher prices and boosted revenues, positioning the U.S. as a dominant force in global energy supply chains. Beyond specific sectors, the broader U.S. economy has also reaped some unexpected benefits. One of the key factors here is the influx of capital into the U.S. as investors seek stability amidst global uncertainty. As the war in Ukraine creates volatility in global markets, the U.S. dollar has strengthened. This flight to safety has led to increased investment in U.S. assets, boosting the dollar's value and, by extension, the U.S. economy. Furthermore, American financial markets have seen inflows from European and other international investors looking to shield their investments from the turbulence caused by the conflict. This influx has helped buoy the stock market and provided additional liquidity to the U.S. economy. As European nations look to reduce their reliance on Russian energy and diversify their defense supply chains, they are increasingly turning to the U.S. for support and partnership. This realignment has strengthened U.S. ties with European allies and opened doors for new economic collaborations. It has also positioned the U.S. as a more central player in shaping the future economic and security landscape of Europe. In essence, the Ukraine war has provided the U.S. with a unique leverage, allowing it to extend its influence in Europe and beyond, both economically and militarily. From booming arms sales and a dominant position in the energy market to increased investment and strengthened diplomatic leverage, the U.S. economy is benefiting in multiple ways. So, the question that arises is whether the United States strategically maneuvered its economic gains, leveraging tragedy for financial and diplomatic influence? Or does its support for Ukraine serve a deeper moral imperative amid geopolitical turmoil? Tell us what you think.